My goal by the end of this is to have every woman in the room viewing themselves like a queen. When you're a queen, it does not mean that you're perfect. It doesn't mean you don't make mistakes. It doesn't mean that you got it all figured out. Everybody follows the queen because the queen knows everything about No, it just means you want to be better. It means you know you're worth it. It means you have standards and boundaries and ways in which you will let somebody treat you. Let me tell you something. You give somebody an inch, they'll take a mile. The world has enough followers. World's got enough people that are just gonna follow, do what everybody else says. They're not gonna get involved. They're not gonna look the other way. They're just gonna, ha 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 ha, that's funny. They're not gonna stick up for anybody. They're not gonna stand up for something they believe in. And I am here to tell you ladies, the world needs more queens. The world needs more women that love themselves. That they res that respect themselves. Let me also tell you something. Let me just come correct with something for you. Put it in perspective for you. Do you know that the same Creator, whatever you believe that is, looked at the Kilimanjaro, looked at the Andes, looked at these most beautiful things in the entire world, and thought the world needs one of you two, and one of you two, and one of you. You see what I'm saying? The world's telling you, you're too skinny, you're too fat, you're too short, you're too brown, you're too white, you're not this, you're not that. The world's, you're not enough, and I'm here to tell you, you are enough. As a matter of fact, you are perfect just the way you are. But if you take nothing else from me today, here is the greatest secret to life that this man taught me. It's not about you. You were not born for you. Contrary to what people have told you, or media tells you, or the world tells you, or Instagram, or likes, or validation, or whatever it is, you were not born for you. But Kay said, in this Espy speech, she said, there's like this baby pool of self-pity in life. And so many of us are swimming laps in the baby pool. And I'm asking you to get in, swish your feet, and get out. Please don't take that bracelet if you're gonna walk out of here and not value yourself. Please don't take this bracelet if you're not gonna, in the future, go sit by yourself, have a date with yourself, and go, you are awesome. Please don't take this bracelet if you're not gonna have accountability at the end of the day by looking in the mirror and going, I wanna be better. I want to be a queen. Tell yourselves, tell your little girls, tell your sisters, tell your nieces, tell that little girl that lives inside of you that anything is possible.